Welcome back to another episode of Saturday Afternoon Gaming. I'm your host, Gaming J. And as promised, today we are hopping into more Loop Hero. So last week we played a bit of Loop Hero as the Rogue. Today we're going to be playing as the Necromancer. Um, another fun class. Uh, so we were the Rogue last week here. We did pretty well, except we died. Um, which, you know what, it, it's part and parcel for Ro uh, Loop Hero here to die it's what happens you know you go through your loops trying to make them as deadly as possible to get the best loot but then eventually they get a little too deadly and eventually you probably will die the rogue's kind of a fun class you can dual wield weapons as you guys saw um the warrior's another class that you can play as we're not going to play the warrior today but i just want to show you guys the warrior and the rogue actually have different items available to them so, whereas the warrior can wear a ring, the rogue can't wear any ring. But the rogue gets two weapons and boots, and the warrior doesn't get boots. The necromancer is very different. Uh, he gets two rings, uh, a necklace, and a book. And we will actually unlock an extra item, because we have a special card here that does that. Um, I was playing around with the deck a little bit um, before... Uh, starting up here. So as I recall, the forest actually isn't necessary for the necromancer. In fact, it does nothing. Literally nothing. Um, so we're not going to bother with the forest. We're going to go all in on the suburbs, I believe. Um, we also turn on cemeteries. So we can fight skeletons. Now the wheat field. Um, this helps you heal. Suppose that could be useful, maybe. It's been so long, I can't remember what we want to turn on and what we don't. Turn on spiders just for fun. If you guys want to see something different. Um, I don't think we need anything else. Plus one base hit points. We don't need a ton of health. We don't need to make enemies weaker because we'll be fine. Um, don't need treasuries or all that. Can build a maze of memories. I forget what that does. But anyway, we'll we'll go with this. Uh, yeah, we'll leave the spiders on. When I, actually, I'm going to take them off because they just take up space. We'll have the cemetery. So you kind of you have to build a deck between seven and fifteen cards, and like you know, certain kinds of cards are more helpful to you than others. Um, so anyway, here is the skeleton dude. Ooh, we got a good ring. So, being able to spawn multiple skeletons is good. Skeleton level is good because their skeletons will, have, will be more powerful. And then, other than that, you want skeletons of a higher quality. I'm going to place my arsenal right away now that I remember what it actually does. And this will allow you to uh, unlock additional equipment. Now we can use a shield as well. So having extra equipment is handy because it gives you more abilities in Loop Hero and abilities are what you want. Um, they make a big difference in terms of uh, what you can do. So anyway, there are skeletons. Ooh, we got a beacon right away. So we'll place that right over here, I guess, is our first one. As we saw before, having a beacon that uh, um, all over the, the, the map is very handy. Um, now, actually, I don't even think we need rivers. Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> False start here. I think I'm going to go in and turn off rivers, too. Because if we don't have forests, we don't need rivers. Go, skeletons. Crush them. So we're just getting a chance to see what we were actually doing here. You're summoning skeletons. The skeletons usually uh, take all the uh, aggro from the enemy. Anyway, we're just going to quickly retreat here. End our game. We have to turn off our uh, turn off our rivers. Oh, we have to have two of these though. Okay, so if we're gonna have suburbs. Let's turn on deserts as well, maybe, I guess. Rocks. Could have rocks that will give us more health. Mm, okay, hold on. What do I want on? 
Doubles the effect of adjacent landscape tiles. Will this double the effect of these? Ah, oh, whatever, I'll leave the river on. Alright. We could have we could have gone with the run we just did. Doesn't matter. Alright, the real run has now begun. Um although I don't like this loop. <laughs> We're going to retreat and start again. Okay, one's more into the breach. Okay, this is a better loop, because I can put uh, the arsenal there. I don't like putting useless buildings in corners, because it affects too many tiles, and I want to save those for, um, you know, other uh, tiles that I'm trying to use for other things. Um, now I'm wondering if attack speed is useful to the, uh, to the necromancer. Hmm. Attack speed, 4%. Hold on. We might be, we might retreat one more time. Pretty sure, actually, the attack speed is how quickly you spawn skeletons. All right, once more. <laughs> We're rusty. What can we say? Oh no, wait, we didn't even uh, we didn't even uh, actually affect our deck. Okay, once more, forests are back in the game. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's stop messing around now. And we'll build our arsenal right here. Perfect spot for it. All right. Our book, our shield, our ring. Let's go adventuring. And I'm gonna place my blood groves more effectively this time around, I think. Okay, so shields. So the key to getting good items is to get some ruins up pretty quick. Ooh, max skeletons. Max skeletons is really good. It's one of the better abilities you can have as a necromancer. Bookery. We don't want to swap our cards out just yet, because these are too valuable. These are two very valuable cards, actually. As you guys saw in the last video, oblivions don't come around very often, and the blood groves are useful to create Areas where the ruins cannot be um, fled from. So what I want to do... Okay, so here's where I'm going to place my first ruins. Eventually I want the blood grove to go in the middle. Which means I'm going to have to place a grove over here. And then I'm going to try and place ruins all along here. That'll be my idea how I want this to go. So the groves are just a means to an end. The reason you put the grove is so you can put a blood grove. And then once that's down, what you really want are the ruins, because those are the enemies that are easy to kill and give you the high value items. Normally enemies in the ruins will actually f have a good chance of fleeing every time you fight them. But the blood grove is like roots that are in the ground that prevent any enemy from fleeing. So if you have a blood grove here and a bunch of ruins, you can clear out this whole thing consistently, get tons of good items. And then you only have to deal with one potentially big guy. So big guys spawn in the grove and they come out of the blood grove. But you don't want too many groves. Um, because it's, uh, you know... Uh, you don't want too many groves because... Eh, let's do this. Um, you don't want to fight too many big guys. That's the thought I'm trying to finish and just can't seem to. Uh, Alright, let's... Let's see if this attack speed thing really actually works. I think it will affect my spawning rate. And being able to spawn a bunch of skeletons quickly is very good. Just this attack speed. No. The blobs. Give me some good cards, man. I need to actually, like, fight some more complex enemies here. Um, 
there. Guess we'll do it similar to how we were doing it last time. With that. Okay, our first snake has spawned, or a serpent, or whatever. A cemetery. Okay, let's put a cemetery. Hold on, plan this out. Um, put a cemetery there. Sort of out of the way. Defense, skeleton level. Man, we literally are getting like no good items. It's crazy. Problem is that we're not, we're only fighting slimes. We're like not able to actually fight any good enemies yet because we're waiting for cards. Um, we're waiting for good cards so that we can actually play some territories to fight more advanced enemies and we're getting no cards. Crazy. Hopefully we actually kill these guys here. That would be helpful. Don't flee! No, he fled! Oh, we killed that guy. Okay, so that's much better than what we've got. Those are the kinds of items we want to start getting. Oh, look at that. So as skeleton quality goes up, you start to get, like, better skeletons. So rather than a friendly skeleton, we have a skeleton... A friendly skeleton. We have a skeleton warrior. Pretty funny. Okay. I'm gonna start... I'm gonna build my river sort of like this, I think, this time. Um, still don't want a bookery, because I don't want to trade any of these cards. Die, slime! Throw that down. I like these guys. They look like wolverines. Yay. Oh, we get to fight a skeleton. Skeleton on skeleton battle. I think skeletons do a lot of damage, but they're slow to attack. There we go. Ooh. Summon quality, plus 17%. All right, let's swap this out. The plus one skeleton ring is one I might wear for a long time. It's more skeletons equals better. As you can imagine, their strength in overwhelming your enemies. Okay, we're gonna get any cards, this is brutal. Kill these guys! Oh, he fled. Fled. Anybody wanna give me cards for... Vampire Mansion? Oh, look at this guy! Skeleton Guard. That's cool. Nothing but forests. A village that'll give me uh, quests at least. Do it. Look at all these stupid worms mocking me. They have all the best loot and they won't give it up. There's this. Oh, look, it's a skeleton archer. Ow! Die, dude. Summon quality. Yeah. Oh, he, like, turned into a different guy. Okay. Well, we're gonna carry forward with our plan. One day we will have a blood grove there. We just need a grove. Once we have a grove, blood grove, this whole area changes. It's gonna get far more exciting. Let's have a slow start here. I can't believe we're on, like, <laughs> enemy level 4, and we literally <laughs> have not built hardly anything in the game. It's crazy, actually. 
We haven't built any beacons, nothing. Like, jeez. Okay, some of you guys have to die. This is unbelievable. Okay, so, okay, guys are dying this time around. Skeleton level plus 3.3, that is good. Max skeletons plus one, that is good. Uh, summon quality 17%, evasion and attack speed, I don't care about those this time, and I don't care about any of that. Here is a 6% chance to reflect range shots. 0.25 skeleton level for a loop starting from loop win. Ooh, this is good. Each loop, three higher quality skeletons join the side. You want to get this early. This that is really good that that is our first ability because it stacks every time you go around the loop. Very handy indeed. Ah, oh, you fucking it flees every time. Or something. Skeleton level. Yeah, but skeleton quality. It's important to not just have higher skeleton level, but you do want the skeleton quality because you want like the wolverines and the guards and stuff. These guys are okay to start, but they're not good overall in the end. Long term, you want the more advanced. Oh! Finally! That is what we needed. Alright, these guys are now all dead. Um, you know what? I'm just going to throw a bookery down because we just need this to start. <laughs> we need something to start happening here. I'll throw it down over here. We're going to lose an oblivion, but I mean, I guess I was hoping that more would happen quickly. A bit of heal. So the nice thing about these shield guys is that they draw the enemy attack, so your guy is totally defended. So when these guys spawn, it's like a shield for you, and so that's why you want the uh, skeleton quality to be very high. Um, the level is a little less important. I mean, you do want level. You do want high level, but you don't need to worry too much about your own evasion and stuff because your skeletons are the ones that are going to be taking the hits for you. Whereas when we were the rogue, it was like all about evasion because we wanted to be unhittable. We wanted to be a ninja ghost. And attack speed isn't super important. Experience is a bit more important for the necromancer, I think. I would argue. But... Yeah, so see how I built one, two, three, four, and then here this one became a double? So yeah, building more in like a star pattern is better, or cross is better for the um, uh, villages. As opposed to last time when I was building in like blocks. You know, there's a lot that I'm like remembering now that I had forgotten over time. Go this here so we can get a suitcase. We we'll fight some ghosts. Die, dude. Invaluable here, not really. All right, this time, this guy, our quest worm or whatever, the marked one, he is done. Oof. Yeah, this is skeleton level 3.5. But we don't have, so the max skeleton is just too dang valuable. Whoa. Okay, max skeletons plus one, and skeleton quality plus 18%. That is useful. Um, what else we got here? So a bunch of stuff just happened. Um, nope. Uh, skeleton level. I want to keep an eye on that summon quality. So summon quality 17% is our base. We go higher. I mean, this is just an objectively better version of that ring. Uh, magic shield. Oh, I mean, that definitely needs upgrading. 
Summon quality is 18%. And evasion. Uh, we'll leave. We'll leave that as, as is. Um, nah. Mm. Oh yeah, and uh, the necro necromancer also has a regen, which is handy. Plus 10% attack speed and regen. Yeah, this is better. Again, evasion is not necessarily what you need as a necro necromancer. You want to be summoning high quality enemies as fast as possible so that they can take the hits for you. That's all you need to worry about. We have kind of a dead area over here. We need beacons. We need some beacons. Skeleton level. Um, uh, nope. As long as you have one of these guys, you're totally safe. Very calm loop at the moment. Not too much crazy action. Okay. Oh, we finally got a beacon. All right. Let's see where we can affect the most stuff. I think there is where we want it. Or, I mean, we could go anywhere. Like over here is fine too. Now, a vampire mansion would be handy. So let's go here for the vampire mansion. And then, okay, we're thinking forward for a grove. Where's our next grove gonna go? I think we want a grove here. Because then we can blood grove, and then we can put a whole bunch of ruins like that. So here's our next grove right there. And another cemetery. Let's put one over here. Looks good to me. We're not going to overexpand too quickly like we did with the uh, rogue. Let's see what kind of abilities we get. Each loop, three higher qu sc quality skeletons join the hero. 60% chance. I like the, uh, starting off with three powerful skeletons. That's handy. Ooh, and we got another beacon. Oh, we got another thicket. Perfect. Oh, and a vampire mansion. All right, things are finally picking up. Okay. I'll put this one here. That. More suburbs. And the vam another vampire mansion. Put it here, I think. It's fine. Or maybe we'll put it over here. Right next to the uh, cemetery. Alright. Going down, worms. Look at all the stuff they dropped. Magical shield. Um. No. Ring. Summon quality. Nope. Max skeletons plus one. That is tempting. That is tempting. The thing is, we already have that. And this has summon quality. So yeah, none of those are worth it for us. Look, we have a whole gang of skeletons ready to party, boys. Oh yeah, and we got more worms. Bring out the worms. Look at this guy. He gave us so much trouble as a rogue, but as a necro necromancer, it's a lot easier to deal with those guys. More experience. And then, oh, here we go. Shield, summon quality, and max skeletons. Perfect. This gives you summon quality 20%. That's what we want. So our summon quality is 75. So it's like we're almost always going to spawn good guys. That is good.
So like, even if you don't spawn those shield guys, if you have like four other skeletons spawn, you only have a one in four chance of being the target of any attack. So it's like, that's the advantage of keeping that summon quality and attack speed high for the, the Necromancer. Okay. We can put it, we can plan for another grove here because Blood Grove and then Ruins. That's what we'll do. Build another river. Throw another village down over here. Oh, and the bandit camp spawned. We may or may not get rid of that. I don't think the necromancer runs into too much problem with the bandits. Oh yeah, and if you spawn enough skeletons sort of here, then you'll eventually spawn like uh, magic user guys. Uh oh, this is actually looking really bad for us. Hurry, spawn more skeletons! Kill these guys! Maybe having a vampire house next to a cemetery is not a good thing. I've burned through three of my potions. Yikes. Kill this chump! Four of my potions. Jeez. Oh, that was a quest skeleton. That's why he was so hard. Jeez. Okay. Any other groves that I want? Mm, I could put one here if I really wanted. Just throw a random grove there. I don't know if I'll use it or not. So I could put a s vampire thing there. Another vampire. Go like this in the suburbs. Alright, wow, that was a tough fight. But I guess that was like a, uh, you know, vampire that we wanted to hunt down. Whoa, look at all those suburbs. Give me that sweet, sweet experience. Yikes. I, uh, overestimated how easily I could deal with, uh, vampires and skeletons at the same time. Note to self, don't do this again. Wow, plus six skeleton level. That's crazy. Um, that's good. One more skeleton. Yeah, but I'm not even getting the max skeletons. I need uh, attack speed. I need to be spawning skeletons more quickly. Come on, skeletons! Kill that skeleton! Oh, we're spawning like skeleton archers. That's cool. Okay, attack speed, which we desperately need. More experience. I'm trying to walk before I can run here. Summon quality. What is my attack speed at? 47. Alright, and we will place our village. Let's see. So we'll go with the village right here. Here. Don't want to get rid of those green slimes. I think if you place a village where there are like random monsters, it will get rid of the monsters. We definitely want those slimes around. It's an interesting kind of game because like you specifically want enemies around to kill them. I mean, I guess a lot of RPGs are like that. You kill enemies, they give you items, experience, loot, like you want to find enemies to kill. You don't want to avoid them. Not forever, anyway. Okay, so our experience... Where's our experience? Bonus experience, 19. Decent. Another bookery. Place a bookery over here if we want. 
do that. Let's cycle some cards, man. What does that ear icon do? Ringing in the ears. 10% chance attack won't happen. That's mean. Right, things are dropping. Regen. Max shield. Okay, nothing useful. Get them, skeletons. Okay. When an ally skeleton kills an enemy, it fully heals itself and gets a 10% buff? Huh. Oh. Um, first two skeletons summoned in a day will be strengthened. Okay, I guess it's this one. Although... Let's see what else we can get. Plus one to the mag- Ooh, that's good. Each time the hero kills an enemy, he'll receive a stained glass window that has 20% chance to absorb hit. Gives you a full hand of oblivion. Let's get the maximum skeletons. Okay, so we're pretty good in number of skeletons. Our max skeletons is six. It's quite good. We could even go down to five for a little while. So if we find items that give us lots of good stuff, um, but decrease the number of skeletons we have, we could always take it. Uh, meanwhile, so that is ready for ruins. Um... This is ready for ruins. That's ruins. So we could always throw a vampire here. All right, I think that's pretty good. Ooh, a blood grove. Perfect. Defense. Get them, skeletons. Jeez. Okay, hold on. A lot of stuff just happened here. Um, alright, we want a blood grove here. Let's say. We want to clear that out eventually. But let's see what we got here. Okay, summon quality. Regen. Max skeletons plus one. Okay, so that's a better version of the ring. Um, this is all the same. Okay, so none of this stuff is worthwhile. Take him to town, baby! I think there's some ability you can get where it's like your first two spawns. Uh, your first two skeleton spawns, like you spawn double or something like that, maybe? Actually, no, I think I'm making that up. I think we just keep working on attack speed until we summon skeletons so fast that the enemies can't kill them fast enough. That's the way we crush these pathetic demon spawn. We go there, that's pretty good. But we have nothing over here. I think this is more important though. Over here we're like defended by our town a bit, so these first two are pretty easy. Plus we're fully healed and everything. The parts of the map we have to worry about are where I've put all the cemeteries, which turns out those guys are actually pretty tough. Maybe I shouldn't have put cemeteries in the game. Oops. Yeah, see, like, in a, in a case like this, they're killing skeletons as fast as I'm spawning them, so I'm not overwhelming them. What we want is this to happen, where we have an overwhelming number, where we're spawning people faster than they can kill them. The key. I may not place this cemetery. They sort of leave it a little bit. Yeah. Leave it for right now, anyway. Let the game play out a bit. Hmm. An oblivion. 
I will use that. Maybe I'm going to obliviate. I'm going to get rid of these skeletons. They're just... I mean, I could get rid of the bandits. It's kind of too late now. But also one of those bandits is a quest guy. But I feel like the skeletons are just actually... more trouble than I want. Adding them in later maybe would be useful, but not right now. Oh, we have a mage and an archer. That's cool. We got a lot of stuff there. Okay, river. River. Dude. Dude. Suburbs. Right, let's see how hard these bandits are. Oh god, they're t they're gonna kill me. Oh no, I'm dead! <laughs> I screwed up. Damn it, never underestimate the bandits. Uh, I think I have a thing that like gives me one extra chance if I die. Shit! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try one more time. This is only a 40 minute video. We're well below the two and a half hour mark that I set for this video for myself. No, I'm just kidding, we're not actually gonna go two and a half hours, but damn, that sucks. Oh, that really does suck. In fact, I don't like this map either. We're gonna retreat. Try a different one. Mm, I don't like this one either. I like the last one, how right near our base we had a bit of we had a few curves. So we could set up a few um I don't like this one either. We could set up a few uh uh ruins and my archers in town would help. Like, this seems okay. Still don't like it. Sorry, I'm fishing for, uh... You guys will see once we get a start that I like. I don't like this one either. I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna pick one of these to start on. Um, sure. Go with this one. Why not? There's my arsenal. We had some good abilities, too. The thing with Loop Hero is that, uh, you know... It, it's meant to be played in this sort of, like, uh... Um, you know, you play for, like, an hour, then you die, then you play again. I was thinking the other day, too, like... I bet you could have made this game on NES. It's kind of interesting, because, like, like, the graphics and stuff are not that far off from what you would have gotten on NES. And the interface wouldn't have been as clean and simple, but I'm pretty sure you could have made this game on NES. I don't see why you definitely couldn't have. Um, uh, well, let's see that. Oh, these stupid cemeteries. Okay, hold on. I'm not crazy about this map, and I want to change my deck. The cemeteries suck. Uh, we're gonna keep the village in. We're gonna keep the grove, swamp, ruins. We're just getting rid of the cemeteries to lighten the deck a bit. Okay. We're going in nice and lean. Maybe we'll get an even better map. This one is fine. Doesn't blow my socks off, but what can you expect? Um, cause yeah, you can imagine, like, this game, like, walking around in a loop fighting monsters and having it auto-fight is pretty simple to code. Um... And then pressing start or, like, pausing could have brought up, you know, the options to, like, build or select your items. So yeah, you wouldn't have the drag and drop mechanic, obviously, cause it's on the NES, but... I think... Could have made a game like this on NES for sure. It's kind of interesting because it means that this cool game, which wasn't released until like the 2020s basically, or might have been 2019, um, but sometime around then, it could have existed in the 80s. Just nobody ever thought of it, you know? Like, kind of interesting to think about that kind of stuff, I find. 
gonna put vampires there. We get some vampire fights, and we'll leave that as is. Asian. I can't believe we had like so many good abilities and stuff. Now we're like back to ground zero. Kind of sucks. Right, here we go. Max speed. Put a village somewhere. Uh, wait, hold on. So, where are we going to put things? Put a grove there, which means we can put ruins all around here. So that's reserve. Um, I'll throw a village here, I think. Or here. That's good. Good-ish. More suburbs. A lot of slimes are spawning. We're gonna be- oh god, we might die. We're gonna fight three vampires back to back and a quest slime. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But you know what? No risk, no reward. Summon another skeleton, damn it! Okay, we got a grove, that's good. That's good. Ooh, we got ruins and stuff. And a beacon. Oh, and a good book. Okay. Things are turning around. Okay, first of all, beacon. This is a great spot for the beacon. Oh, this is a better spot for the beacon. That's where the beacon goes. Ruins. Um, we want some ruins here. And we want a grove here. And then a blood grove goes there. And then ruin, ruin. Okay, this goes down here, and we'll save that other vampire mansion for right now. I guess if you are going to tango with vampires, now is a good time to do it, because they're fairly weak. It's early in game. But maybe I should put another vampire mansion down while I can. So let's go here, I guess. Why not? We'll toss another village down. Hmm. Hmm. Already passed that spot. I'll put a village down there, even though we just passed it. And I gotta get rid of those stupid bandits. I think I'll be okay because it's early level still. But I'll have to get rid of them before uh, they accumulate. Another vampire mansion. Oh shoot, I should have gone over like this. <sighs> Kinda too late. Oh well, screwed that up. It's not like I'll live long enough to regret it. Slime and burning time. Ooh. Oh, another thicket. More skeletons. More slimes. More thickets. Need a bookery to start trading in all these basic forests. Turn them into something good. Battlefields. I'll throw that there. That. Hopefully, I don't over or underestimate any of these other enemies. Um, high quality skeletons is fine. Ten percent. The card after killing an enemy, your next attack will deal. Damage. 
It's that skeleton level thing that you want to get. Hopefully I get it for the uh, next... Um, next level that I get. The earlier you get that, the better. Die, vampire! Jeez. Oh, here we go. Max skeletons. Finally. Up to three. We had six before. So sad we've been reduced to. Suburbs. Oof. Oof. Place is other vampire mansion. I just don't feel like I'm powerful enough to deal with it though. I guess I am kind of crushing vampires left and right. Okay. I convinced myself that I can do this. I will throw a vampire mansion here. Here? Hmm. Here? Yeah, because I have the tower to defend, help defend me. Let's do it. And I don't know about another village yet. I guess if I were going to place one, I'd place it here. So I'm going to do that. I'll do water, water. All right, let's dance, bozos. Oh, we got a grove and a thicket. Good stuff. Okay, the next grove that I would want... Um, so if that's all things... This is all things, so I want the grove here. Link. And then I'll place a blood grove in there if I get it. I'll drop those. Um, this is better than that. And the sem skeleton quality. Okay, so it's better than that. Skeletons and attack speed, so it's better. Well, more ruins. Place here. Let's dance, bozos! Oh, finally a bookery. Okay, I'm gonna throw the bookery here, I think. I oh, know I want it sooner. Put it here, I guess. Want well, me to start trading in these forest cards for something better? Max shield regen skeleton level. Point seven. Um, I guess this is just better than what I got. Okay, suburbs. And bookery. Throw another bookery over here. I like all my bad cards. Oh, and a grove. Okay, one grove there. A grove here. We'll put one grove here. We could always put one more grove here if we want. That'll be it for groves. So we only have room for one more grove. Um, here we'll get 0.5 max shield for every summoned skeleton for the rest of the expedition. Oh, that's interesting. 20% chance to summon two skeletons at once when reaching the maximum number of skeletons. Hmm. Reaching. So, more health. I like summoning extra skeletons. Um... I'm summoning like three skeletons a battle, so 1.5 health per battle, 10 battles per loop, like 15 health per loop. 
That's not a lot. I'll do this. Get out of here, Questo. Questo the bandit. Okay, this good. This is better. There we go. Okay, any good items? Summon quality? Um, quality of the belt and level. I'll replace this ring. So 40% attack speed. Skeleton level is about almost two. Quality is 37%. All right, we're, we're slowly starting to get back to where we were before. Ooh, that's a good trade. I'll take that every day of the week. Ooh, Oblivion. Perfect. Bye, bandits. Nice knowing ya. We have one skeleton buddy who's just been hanging out with us. It's pretty good that the skeleton made it all the way that far around the map, though. Bodes well for us. Magic shield, defense, suburbs. Crush him! Oh, here we go. 1.5 level evasion summon quality. A little lower max level, but higher um, quality. Which is good. Ooh, lots of stuff over there now. Yay. We'll go with this, because that gets a lot. Ooh, here we go. Max skeletons. Plus one. So we will dump. I guess we'll dump this one. Summon quality plus. And yep, that's gonna replace that. Rest is fine. So yeah, I feel like I'm settling back into my strategies that I used to use back when I played this, which is try to get the worms locked into the blood groves. Don't place too many groves. You know, use the vampires. Eventually you want to place villages in front of the vampire houses to turn them into zombie places. That's quite good. But early on you don't necessarily need to do that. Um, okay. Nothing necessary in there. Okay, that is nothing. Suburbs to that. Beacon. We'll do this. We almost have the whole path lit up, which is handy. It's actually quite nice to have pre-summoned skeletons because it just means my chance of like actually taking damage is very minimal. So I can either go there or there. I guess I'll go here first. Die, doggy. Hmm, plus one skeleton. Hmm, I don't know if I need it at the moment, to be honest. Take it. Good. Suburbs. Alright. What was this? XP region. Plus one skeleton. Do I want 17% summon quality or plus one skeleton? My summon quality is... Where is it? 48%. Hard to say. I'm gonna stick with the quality for right now. I feel like I have enough skeletons. Plus, I have a bonus to summon two if it's like gonna max me out. So I should. I don't want tons of skeletons yet. 
once I'm attacking faster, and I can, uh, maintain all those skeletons. <coughs> um, each other skeleton heals the hero when it dies. Oh, that's handy. Plus one to maximum number of skeletons. First two skeletons. Do plus one. Nope. Okay, so these uh, blood rings or bone rings or whatever are always just plus one. I seem to recall that back from when I played before. I want any other? I guess I could put one more here, because then I could put a bunch of ruins here. But really, other than that, no more groves. Oh. In oblivion, do I need it? I need to obliviate anything. Not really. Let's hold on to it for right now. I think it's gonna get traded in at the next library. Suburb. I like having those guards up. Two of them keep the dogs off my back. Oh, double guys. What's up? Um, oh, here we go. Summon quality. And yeah. I think eventually you can get summon quality up to like 80 or 90%. And you're like always summoning really good skeletons. Obviously, the end game. Ooh, ruins. Perfect. Lots of good stuff here. Oh my god, and all sorts of good items got dropped. Okay, hold on. This? Oh, good. Wipe that out right away. <laughs> Get out of here. Don't interfere with my plans. We literally only have one uh, blood grove, though, which is kind of interesting. Like that. We have literally no cards. Every card we've gotten has been very playable. We've been trading it in for good stuff. It's a good sign. Uh, summon quality, skeleton level. Yeah. We're fine right now. We need that ability though that, uh,. We need that ability that every time we go through the loop, our skeletons go up a level. If we'd gotten that, you know, a level or two ago, I would say we were in a perfect position to end game this. But the fact that we haven't got it yet concerns me a little bit. Okay, we'll do this. And plus one skeleton, nah, nah. It's interesting, it's like, the higher level gear isn't necessarily objectively better for the uh, necromancer here. Like, I feel like for the rogue, we were, like, equipping anything, or most things that were higher level gear. Because they were useful. Oh, this is a bad fight. Okay. But we overcame it. Gradually. Jeez, look at all that stuff. Okay, plus one skeleton. But we give up quality, so I don't know about that. This is objectively better than what we've got. This is plus one skeleton, plus 17 summon quality, plus that's better than what we got. And I think that's it. Oh, we got a thicket to place. Vampire mansion. Oh. Suburbs. No one other vampire man. The vampires are kind of pushovers. I'm gonna throw one there. I don't mind fighting the vampires. You're done. He's gonna have to attack this guy and do nothing. Yes. Ooh, another blood grove, finally. Um, I guess we'll throw it over here. And we'll throw this river over here, like this, suburb. What's this? Nothing of value. 
Okay, come on. Ah, oh, shit, we didn't get the ability. Each time the hero kills an enemy, he'll receive a stained glass window that has a 20% chance to absorb one hit and shatter. You're killing an enemy, your next attack, your hero has 60% chance to reflect range damage. Uh, I don't know. Stained glass, I guess? I feel like that ability was not very good. Not crazy about any of those abilities that was just offered. Suburbs. We don't really need too many more rivers at the moment. Like, we'll want them eventually, but right now... don't really need it. Suburb. Oh, we want a thicket, though. Village. Oh, never mind. Oh, wait, no, we still have it. Get out of here, doggo. Um, alright, beacon. That's the last beacon we need. Village. Let's turn this into a zombie village. And, uh, we'll have to be, uh, clear that out. At least we'll have our tower to help us defend that. I feel like vampires have been our bread and butter this game. They were the first advanced level enemy that we killed and they gave us lots of good loot. Anything good here? Nothing essential. Come on, zombies. Show me what you got. Look at all the stuff we're getting. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. So I guess really what I'm in the market for is I want, ooh, ruins. Uh, I guess we'll throw one here. Uh, I'm in the market for ruins because they let me get these guys, which gives lots of good items. I'm in the market for woods, which let us attack and spawn enemies faster. And then uh, some suburbs, which let us, uh, level up faster. Other than that, I'll throw a bookery over here. And so we can just cycle some cards. A bit more. Good. Nothing. Nothing. No skeleton quality, 66%. Could be better. Ooh, we got a blood growth. Okay, we need it for over here. We only really need also one more blood growth, and then we're kind of done with that. Use a potion. It's a rare. Okay, we're close to leveling. I gotta believe we're gonna get the uh, every time you cycle. Um, every time you cycle, your skeletons level up. We pretty much have to start getting that at some point. We really need that ability. These, we're no longer necessarily in the business of plus one skeleton, because we have a lot. Six is a lot. It's probably as high as we need to go. Suburbs. Oh, 
I wish the skeletons were persistent across battles. That would be pretty cool. If there was an ability to let you do that, that'd be overpowered. the suburb. Oh. So yeah, I don't know if I'm going to place too many more uh, buildings. At this stage is the forest. The thickets are more valuable to me. Summon quality. Eh, it's just... The interesting thing about the Necromancer is it's almost like at a certain point, items don't matter, and it's because the items don't get that much better. It really is almost more about abilities. Um, uh, okay. New traits. Here we go. When an ally skeleton kills an enemy, it fully heals itself. Plus 0.25 skeletons for each loop. Starting now. That is what we need, baby. Ooh, thickets. More attack speed. Suburbs. I'll place one, two, three more suburbs if I get them. Then I'll be done with those. Oh god, I'm about to die, aren't I? I'm about to die. Summon! I can't summon the skeletons fast enough. It's because there is a bandit, a quest bandit here. Okay, I'm gonna be okay. That was scary for a second. Like ah, plus level four. Hmm. So many zombies. Luckily my archers are here to help bring it. Oh, and I forget, I get like stained glass stuff every time. Kill guys, it's handy. Summon quality, 18%. Um, I will take that and I will go down to five max skeletons. Ooh, and ruins. Handy. Go right there. Max shields. Summon quality. 18%. Oh, here we go. Um. But yeah, this is just objectively better than that. Pretty sure none of this stuff needs to be placed. Uh, plus one skeleton, summon quality 18%. Oh, that's objectively better. Nice to find things that are just clearly better than what you got. So it's like you just know to use it. Oh my god, look at all this stuff. Damn it. I keep spawning bandit camps. I need oblivions. I legit do need some oblivions. Um, summon quality. Does it take me down to four? Uh, and I don't want to do that. It'll knock my skeletons up a level or two, but no. I don't want to go down to four. Five max skeletons is as low as I actually want to go here. I will do this. Stupid bandits. Who knew that of all the monsters that you fight, like, human bandits would be some of the trickier ones? Oh yes, Oblivion, okay. So hold on that. We want to get rid of this bandit camp first, I think. Or this one. Um, eh. We got, got to get rid of them both, so I'll start with that one. Well, that was just, uh, that wasn't a bandit camp, that was, uh, something else, actually. Doesn't matter. They both had to go. 
uh, a corrupt village or something, like a ghost town. So I guess the ability I got is when I go to spawn my last skeleton, there's a 20% chance I'll actually spawn two. So it sort of means, like, um... Like being here is good. Wait, what? Here? Oh yeah, I can go there. Eh, I'll just put this one there. I'm just uh, running through scenarios in my head. Not there. What are these things? Rat wolves. Ignores damage to all. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know if I knew that, that they didn't take the uh, area of effect damage. Okay, no more towns. We are leveled out. As far as our bonus experience. We're now focusing on becoming... The most nimble, quick-fingered necromancer the world has ever seen. We're defended by skeleton guards, the honor guard. Please look at all this stuff. Uh, nothing that I want to replace necessarily. So hold on, these, 18%, 15%, 18%. So it's really just the shield and the rings that I'm in the business of trying to replace right now. The other things I can kind of ignore for the most part. Or just pay less attention to. Attack speed, 127. Come on, bandit, do your worst. Skeleton level. I wish this had plus one skeletons. I would take it in a heartbeat. Um, I'll take it anyway. Whatever. Okay, I gotta find something that has plus one skeleton now. Not that, apparently. Skeleton quality, 20%. Ah, here we go, plus one skeleton. Ah, but skeleton quality would drop. Won't do it. Hack speed. Bah. Bah. I like how there's like a quest ghoul. One of these zombies is, like, really badass. Good for him. Yeah, let's drop a bookery so we can cycle some of these, uh... crappy cards. Um... I guess I will put it here. Like a rapid cycling of cards all over the map. When the bookeries get used up, then they start spawning, um, like, other powerful monsters. Can't remember how powerful they are, and hopefully I'm not putting us in a position to fail. Oh. I'll replace that one. Die, monsters! Oh, here we go. 4.71 plus max skeletons plus one. I will do that. There we go. Now we're back up to five skeletons. And this. Uh, oh, do we need another blood? Yes. That'll be it for the blood groves. Okay. 
Plus one skeleton. Oh god, okay, hold on. And sent summon qualities 18%. Okay, so we will actually do this. It'll lower our skeleton bonus level by a whole level. Now we're up to 93% quality. That's where you want to be. Although, we got two dud rolls immediately. Three dud rolls! Jeez. Oh, we have a new ability. Skeleton kills itself. Any direct damage to the hero will be evenly split between him and his skeleton. Wow. Okay, now we are immortal. Now we are immortal. That just made the game so much easier. I think there is, um... There's another ability where when skeletons die, it heals the player. If we get that one... On top of evenly distributing damage to the player amongst all the skeletons, my god. We truly are becoming a god among, uh, necromancers. Like, how's the enemy supposed to actually kill you in this scenario? Max plus one skeleton and attacks. We don't care about that. So at this point, we don't want to bring our quality down. It'd be nice to have six, but five is good. Other than that, we just need speed. The summon quality. Okay, so here we go. Plus one with summon quality. That's good. We'll place one of these rings. We will do, uh, I guess, this ring. Who cares about evasion? This one, and this one. Oh, more ruins. So this time we will place the ruins uh, here. We could do one over here. Mix it up a bit. Uh, no. Uh, no. Bandits. If anyone's gonna take me down, this is goddamn bandits. Although you can't mug a mugger. You guys come to mug me and you get anti-mugged by a gang of skeletons. I guess I should keep building the river. Although I'm literally trapped at this point. Only go a few more things over, I guess. Jeez, look at all those items I got. Wait, hold on a second. Uh... No. I guess it gives me 1% better skeleton quality, but... Hey, wait, what happened to my shield? Wait, hold on. Where did my shield go? Oh my god, the bandit stole it! I'm like, why is my summon quality only at, uh, 70%? Oh no. Okay, well I might as well equip any shield I have. Stupid bandits. Oh, that is so annoying. Okay, I need a shield. I'm sure I'll get one shortly. I also need a, uh... Oh no, I'm about to die! Holy shit! <laughs> Bandits! 
You screwed me! You screwed me! Oh my god. Oh my god. I, I was doing great! And I stopped paying attention for a minute and I died. Damn. I think also I packed that uh, area right near the uh, starting area too tightly with enemies. I should have spaced it out a little. Oh crap, I got so greedy. Oh, flew too close to the sun, my friend. Too close to the sun. Well, this is as far as I'll go today. Um, if you guys would like to see more Loop Hero, let me know. I mean, we could try with the Warrior. I just find the Rogue and the ne ne Necromancer the most fun, but I mean, we've already seen those two. So if I did play this again, I'd definitely play the Warrior, but uh, I am also happy to move on to other things. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this game. I hope it was uh, fun watching me struggle through these monster camps and eventually lose both times. Was. Don't forget to like the video and all that stuff, and I hope you guys are having a good weekend. I hope uh, it was cool to just chill on this chilly fall afternoon and watch some gameplay. So guys, it's been fun. I will catch you in the next video. Until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves, and don't underestimate the undead. And other than that, I will see you soon. Peace!